What's going on everybody? Gemmin here with another statue reveal. Queen Studios just this morning revealed their new Venom life-size bust. So crazy because usually their life-size busts are very realistic. They have medical grade silicone. It looks like real skin, eerily real. But this one is something that doesn't look real because it looks like a vicious, monstrous symbiote. So we're going to take a look at all the pictures. I'm going to give you my commentary and my final thoughts after that. Before we get started, if you or anyone that you know is looking to sell your comic book collection, I've got just the guy. Nick Barucci from Dynamite Entertainment is paying top dollar for comic book collections right now. All you got to do is shoot him an email to nick.barucci at dynamite.com. Mention comic book collection and gem mint collectibles in the sub subject and strike a deal. If you're not looking to sell but you're looking to buy, check out his website dynamicforces.com for all the latest new comic books, back issues, key issues and more and use the code GEMMINT10 to save 10% every time. With that out the way, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video and let's jump into this review. Alright, first let's take a look at the specs. We know this is by Queen Studios, Marvel license, although it's not licensed for the United States. It's a Venom life-size bust. It's made out of polystone and the saliva is resin, so not medical grade silicone, which gives me hope that this might not be too expensive. It looks like he stands uh, just about 31 0.6 inches tall, about 23 and a half inches wide, and just a little bit more in the depth. It goes up for pre-order on October 20th, has an edition size of just 576, and it looks like they're gonna get this out pretty quickly, quarter two of next year. Here we have a look at the bus next to kind of a person to get a, a feel for the life-size nature of it. He looks ferocious, man. Uh, it does come with a nameplate. Now I've seen critiques. Some people don't like nameplates. I kind of like it. They kind of tweaked the Venom logo just a tad as well. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then here's a back of the base. A look at the symbiotes. A, a look at the texture that it has. And it looks great, man. It looks pretty gnarly. You have that warping, moving symbiote. Uh, and then you have the tongue here going down to the bottom teeth. You can see the clear resin already on the tongue. And those teeth look great, man. They look like tiger teeth or something. Now moving up to the top, you can see some droplets on the teeth. He's salivating as he's gnarling and growling at you. Love how those teeth look. They did a bang up job there. This one, man, it's almost like a barracuda mouth, the way that that thing is stretching out. And you see the tendons on the side of the jaw. The tongue again has resin on it. And man, this is just very well detailed. I'm so interested to see what this looks like because it's polystone. I, I wouldn't have known had I not read that. Here's another look at the back. So you have some tendrils coming around, uh, moving up to the musculature in the back of the neck. He's got that thick, beefy neck and that skull. You see the vein on the top, this ferocious lashing out look. Look at all the musculature down to the spider emblem on his chest. Almost has like a skeleton look. Skeleton spider emblem. Here's a look at the back. You have tendrils coming out from the back uh, around the shoulders as well. And you can see he's kind of leaning over to his left. The eyes are very much an alien nature. This kind of reminds me of a blend of the two sideshow busts. The most recent one and the, uh, the OG one that looked very alien. Not like the comic book one they did. Here's a full shot of it. He looks ferocious. I love the anger and the intensity that's in his expression. Here's a little bit of a look to the side here. Yeah, man, I'm digging it. I think it looks awesome. Let's take a look at some photoshopped pics with some background. So this angle, he looks crazy ferocious, man. That tongue is just lashing and whipping around. It looks like the longest tongue that we've seen from a life-size Venom bus, man. The way that it goes upward and swings around to the left uh, gives it a lot more length. And again, those eyes there, not so much comic accurate, more of a unique take, more of an alien look, but the mouth looks amazing. I mean, Queen Studios, I mean, that's their thing, life-size bus. So you know they had to nail a Venom one. Again, this looks like a piece of art. This looks like a painting right here. This doesn't even look like a collectible statue that you can own, which is amazing. Look at the texture on the top of the tongue, right? This one angled up a little bit, same thing. It looks awesome. Look at that long bottom jaw. Very cool, man. And then here, look at the shine on that paint job. That's what they're showing you with the lighting here. The teeth look great, man. 
And then here's the last picture. Again, doesn't look like a physical object. This looks like a painting. That is amazing. All right, guys. First of all, I'm a sucker for Venom. I love every iteration, so I'm a fan either way. Uh, I really do like this life-size bus. I feel like it's like a good blend between everything that Sideshow has done so far. It's got like those kind of alien looking eyes, but the mouth, the teeth, and the tongue are just on another level. Uh, let me know what you think about this Venom bus though. Is it a deal breaker that the eyes aren't as comic book accurate and they're more like realistic looking? For me, I like both. I am a comic purist, but with Venom, there's so many different uh, interpretations by artists over the years. I'm kind of good with whatever as long as it looks good. And I think this one definitely looks good. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, we are doing a giveaway once we hit our next subscriber milestone of 150K and we're giving away the Deja Thoris premium format by Sideshow. All you got to do is be subscribed, leave a like and comment below. Once we reach the milestone, we'll go live. Pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Make sure to check out my other statue reveals playlist on the right and my statue unboxing and reviews. Stay minty fresh. Peace.